kind of perspective. Today we talking about John Morant. Now y'all already know John Morant is fucking. I don't know. He wilding to the to the to the people, I guess. I look at it different, bro, because we all been that age, but I'm not too far away from that age. I want to say, I don't know. They say that nigga grew up all good, all great, and all that shit. But the nigga is from Memphis, and we know how Memphis is. The nigga can ball out of control. But this is why I feel like we should bring like artist development. When they had artist, artist development back then, I feel like they should bring that shit back. Because you got so many young niggas just coming in and telling you give them a whole bunch of money. You ain't expecting these niggas to know how to act with all this money. This nigga wanna be King Von, wanna be young boy, wanna be dirt. And it ain't nobody in that nigga circle telling them like, hey bro, I don't think that's a good idea. Everybody around him like, I don't know, this nigga just keep, he, and ain't nobody saying either he playing with niggas that can be played. He, he ain't came across that nigga that ain't doing no playing. So it all looks like, oh, he a bully, he didn't see that until he catch the right nigga. And then the same motherfuckers saying, oh, he ain't really like that. They're the same motherfuckers that's gonna be saying, oh, I pee to that nigga. And uh, we gotta stop this shit, we we'll do all that shit, bro. A nigga like that, when a nigga got, let's say 200 mil on him, bro, you can't just come up and tell that nigga, hey, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? like. To be honest, the way Skip did that shit on um, Undisputed, the way he did that shit made it seem like they want that nigga to crash out so they can say, well, we tried to we tried to help him, so next time that we put our money into somebody, it's going to be a white boy, so we know, like, ain't shit going on. That's the way that shit looked to me. Now, I ain't into sports. I don't really give a fuck about no sports. I don't give a fuck about basketball, football, none of that shit. If I'm going to watch something, it's going to be baseball. Other than that... It is what it is. This ain't the first time we done had somebody spiral out of control that's a star. We had AI, fucking Michael Jordan even had his gambling problem. Like, it's, it's niggas we can name. Like, uh, Paul Pierce got stabbed, nigga. What, what he don't supposed to have a gun? Like, what the fuck we talking about here? Like, it shows, like, looking at Josh shows me this generation, like, it's perfected. Like, the way he acts is how all that generation acts. So it's not too much of a chastising, it's more of a dog. Social media needs to be, that shit should have a parental advisory on it, my opinion. Like, niggas talking about where his dad at. Bro, if, if my son got 200 mil, like, what the fuck? What can you tell a nigga that got 200 mil? Like, don't do that. Like, what kind of shit? Niggas not. I'm the one that got the 200 mil, nigga. You ain't got the 200 mil. So how the fuck you gonna tell me? You know what I'm saying? How to maneuver through this bitch. There's gonna have to be somebody that's up there to that stature. Or it's gonna be a, It's gonna have to be somebody that he idolized. But at the same time, it's like, dog, come on, fool. Like, that's the norm. We can't sit here. Paul Pierce said it, he was like, man, rappers get to put guns on camera and they get paid millions. But what he left out is they also get fucking Rico charges and get killed. So, I mean, you can't say, I'm gonna do this, but as soon as some heat come down, I'm gonna put the gun in the camera and all that shit, but as soon as some heat come down, I'm a basketball player, you can't do that. It's the same as fucking Charlemagne saying, I'm the radio guy. Like, hey, you a bitch, you a hoe, but I'm the radio guy, you can't run, like, you can't do that. You gotta pick a side. I think that nigga's having, it's pretty, to me, the shit seems wrong. Because when I was 21, nigga, fuck that. When I was 17 and 18, like, I was in the street, but I was also in school, and I was also running track, and I also had a job. So it was like, nigga, I can maneuver all this shit. It's cool. But just because I said, hey, I got a job, man. I go to school. Like, when I was standing in front of the judge, nigga, fighting that fucking charge. I can't say, hey, I'm outside, I'm this, I'm that. And then when I get in front of the judge, oh man, I got a job and I'm trying to go to the surgery. Don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? So at that point, bro, it is, the chips gotta fall where they may at this point. 
They said they suspended him for a couple of games. You know what I'm saying? In all honesty, I don't think that's it's, I don't think that's harsh enough, and I don't think it's gonna stick. You know, we got bump. I, I'm the firstborn, so I had to bump my head a lot until I realized, okay, I can't do this. His punishment needs to be severe while he's young and while he's still, you know what I'm saying, still able to apologize and show growth. If we wait too far down the line, bro, like, I'm telling you, bro, like, I really feel like it might be on some, man, RP, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to speak that on him, but we got to be. The reason we rappers keep dying and shit is because we're not, we're not learning our fucking lesson. So it's cool for a rapper to be, you know, I blow you, 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 your kids, your mama, all them down, and when they get blown down, oh, we got to stop the violence. No, we need to stop speaking shit into existence. We need to watch the way we talk. We need to move with assertives. We need to have security. Stop making it look like security is a whole move. But at the same time, you got niggas that go, ain't it Kansas City with some security? That nigga hope. Like, because you got to know how to eat that shit and get your money. Because the same niggas that's telling you you a hope for having security is the same niggas that ain't got no fucking money. So, there's so many points you can hit on this hope. The shit needs to be done in house because we don't need somebody that's not in the house to come in here and try to tell us how to regulate our shit. I didn't like what Skip said because now you paint a narrative of he really in there for, for, man, I forgot that nigga because I don't watch that shit. But uh, Shannon Sharp, for him to back door and say you 100% right, like, come on, bro. Let's not put that. I thought we was trying to help this kid. Is we trying to help this kid or we trying to hinder this kid? Because you put that on that nigga. And to be honest with you, it looked like niggas was pushing for him to go to jail, bro. Niggas trying to say he a crip. And I was like, come on, bro. Y'all just said two weeks ago the nigga was a hoe. He ain't like that. Now, he, now fast forward two weeks. Now you saying he like that. Like, bro, pick a fucking side, my nigga. Like, because shit is starting to look like y'all hating on this young nigga. Like, come on, bro. Two weeks ago, you said, you're not like that. You wasn't raised like that. All oh, that shit. Now you saying, oh, well, he is like that. Maybe he is like that. Maybe we didn't uh, observe the situation as serious as it. Like, come on, bro. Like, niggas is looking like haters. Niggas want to talk about the nigga just because they want to get in the motherfucking algorithm and all that bullshit, bro. Is you trying to help this kid or you not, bro? It's really fucking simple. Like, niggas want to talk about his daddy and niggas want to talk about uh niggas want bro you gotta think too look in the eyes of him bro i get on tiktok and niggas is like making it seem like i'm not who i say i am i don't even think he and that's why i titled this shit identity, identity crisis because i don't even think he knows who he is like, he's getting pushed this direction but he feel like, I don't know what his friends is telling him and shit, like, niggas is probably, nigga, you can buy a body, nigga, look at 6 9 nigga, he bought a body, nigga, like, and he good, like, you don't know what's going on through that dude head, bro, and it's like, niggas really need to sit him down, because I don't even think he understands what boat he's in, like I said, bro, you could be, you could be the guinea pig, alright, we gonna give him this much, he young, see what he do. If he don't fuck this up, this might open up the door for a lot of other young niggas to come up here and get some money. But if he do fuck it up, it's gonna close the door for like it's gonna be stricter. You know what I'm saying? To get the I ain't never heard of a nigga getting paid that much. Now like I say, I don't watch sports, but nigga, 20, 200 mil, like nigga, I don't know how many years that is or something, but damn bro, like it's it's hard to fathom like that. Like, bro, I got two hundred mil. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, we know how impactful rap music is at this point. Like, everybody want to be, just like everybody want to be black until it's time to be black. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, he just needs somebody in his corner to, and you can't, you can't, somebody like that, you can't go at them like, bro, quit doing that shit. Like you gotta, you gotta feed it to them in increments. Like, 
the repetition is a thing, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, I pick, I'm one of the people that if I do it every day, then I, I pick it up. That's why I'm, you look at my resume, I got jobs everywhere because like I'm a hands-on person. I'm a repetition person. So a person like that, you got to tell them like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Don't do that, man. Just go over there and do this shit. Or, you know what I'm saying? Go to the fucking gun range or something if you trying to get that off. But I don't know, to be honest with you, bro. Like, it sucks because it's like a young talent like that. And then you set an example, too. Like, let's say people did idolize him for doing the things he did. Just like people idolized um, <clears throat> Chief Key. Like, you being an introvert, I don't know if you really are one or not, but you setting that tone made it seem like, all right, if I, if I want to be on, nigga, I can't do no interviews. I do an interview, I ain't talking too much, nigga. You know what it is, nigga. Just sitting there like that. It's, man, it's, it's fucking crazy, bro. It really is for me, like. Excuse me, but uh, this shit's crazy, bro. It's like. I seen the nigga ball too. Like, that nigga can. He, he got it, so it's like, dog, don't it? It reminds me so much of AI, bro, because I remember AI was just stone cold, but it was like. Him. Fucking Gary Payton, you know what I'm saying? Like, just cause you know you're not from that, your friends could really be on that, and you've been around your friends, so now you feel like you don't want to be the oddball. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like he's still be getting peer pressure. Like, then he could really still be getting peer pressure. Like, you the one with all the money, nigga. Like. I don't even think he got the mindset of nigga. I don't even have to do shit. Like, well, I mean, he did tweet that and say, nigga, I ain't got to do my, I ain't my young nigga deal with you. But it's like, dog, you a basketball player, like, nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, I can see this going left really fucking fast, bro. Like, it just shows how impactful, like, rap music is, bro. That shit is hitting every fucking spectrum. Every spectrum. Movie stars. Football players, basketball players, skateboarders, um, mm, dentists, uh, doctors, everybody, like, just go on TikTok, bro. First 10 videos. Like, niggas is taking rap, like, real rappers, them doing, like, the shit with Big Scar. Where you going, cuz? Where you going, cuz? Everybody doing that shit. Not understanding. So it's because we from there. That's why I said we can't have somebody outside the house come in here and regulate inside the house. Because they don't see it the same way we see it. That shit with Big Scar, bro. Big Scar. We saw, okay, this dude got the drug problems. Niggas on the outside is making TikToks look like making dog running down the hall. Where you going, cuz? Like, this ain't a joke. Just like I'm pretty sure a lot of black people looking at John Moran like this ain't no fucking joke. But you got motherfuckers in the comment section looking at the shit as a joke. They get in the top comment. I'm trying to tell y'all, John Moran really, really like that. He joking. John Moran so unstable, he don't know that he joking. So he like, oh, the people like this shit. Yeah, I might miss a couple of games or something, but the people like to see me go like this and shit. They taking me going like this off a nigga making a three. Me going like this, they adding gunshots and people screaming. You don't understand what that's doing, bro. Now think about that getting played while you in court. You was fucking commending somebody for making a shot, bro. They done spent that shit to see. He is a killer. That's the way I see the shit, bro. It ain't no motherfucking playing on certain shit, bro. It ain't no fucking playing on certain shit. I don't play. When it comes to certain shit, I don't play like that. I don't find that funny. One video I'm seeing this nigga ball out of control. The next video I'm seeing this nigga waving a nine in the camera like, okay, obviously there's a problem here. But everybody's like, man, he's just playing. I'm pretty sure motherfuckers thought uh, Aaron Hernandez was playing too until he started dropping niggas. That ain't funny no more. That shit blew my mind. You got a nigga out here really laying niggas down. Pinning them to the ground. And this nigga done got a motherfucking same year. This nigga wins the fucking Super Bowl. Like, bro. 
we gotta start taking shit seriously, bro. If we don't, we gonna keep going through this shit, man. Rappers down like that. To the to the to the local to the local nobody to the the fucking the black Beatles. It's hitting every spectrum, bro. Like, I've, there's a problem there, and it's gonna hit everybody. But man, y'all know what I'm saying, bro. I hope, I hope that nigga tighten up. I hope he learns his lesson. You know what I'm saying? If he don't, you know, it'll be somebody else when we go through this shit and I'll be doing another video talking about the same shit. So, 